went down to where I think that Vietnam and Hiroshima didn't do the same thing. Now look how small those places are versus how big the American army claims they are. They claim they're the best. They're not the best. They all want to exalt because no one's responding. They get the flash word. Yo, Hiroshima would have slewed all of them up. They had to drop bombs out. They weren't even aware. Yet Vietnam still held strong and also drove the white men out. You gotta realize when it comes to straight shit, your home. If you ever try to invade another civilization, do you think they're gonna let you conquer them and kill them all up? No, they would have never let that happen, I said. They drove all those blue-eyed devils out of their land, their civilizations, I said. And said, no, no, you won't ever fuck around with us. If the American white man won, then why are those nations still alive and still you see Asians everywhere? I dare you to try that to China. The strongest army there is. One of the strongest army there is. Yo, so all black and colored people around the world, Asians, we have a link. Come together and start this collective security thing. Because the devil likes to come try to try a lot of fuckery. And if they ever think they could have tried to raid a civilization and get rid of anyone, yo, then we have to stand firm all as one and take the American white men out. It's time, I say, Malcolm X said it, Elijah Muhammad said it too. They might not say it on that interview, but we got word around that if they ever want to try it, the white men must be held accountable according to the law. And if they don't want to behave, they should be taken away to you know where and thrown their way. Serve their time for the rest of their life. If they can't regard the world, I said, they can't regard even their own law and break it all day, push crack cocaine, methamphetamines, sell up human bodies, I said. And try for murder innocent black or colored people every day for the white system. All they want is society for themselves. That's why the white women and the white men will never talk to you. All them do is go up in the highest buildings and do you know what behind closed doors? And walk by you and laugh and say, ha ha, you could have never had that. So why can they do this? Make a law to break it all day? and hold you accountable and only persecute you. That's why we have a world order of collective. Yeah, yeah. You, oh yeah, the UN, I say. United Nations I already knows if they ever get out of control, then we have to, we have to come and force a real world order. Don't let the white man tell you anything. We are of God, even if you don't believe in God. Don't ever listen to the devil, I say. The white man is the evilest thing. His nature is evil. He was born that way. That's what it is. Yo, yo, blue eyes born here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Elijah Muhammad.